If you're thinking about appropriate first aid for your cat, congratulations, you're being really prepared. It's important because cats can be injured relatively easily, even though we say they have nine lives. So if you're looking at putting together a first aid kit or just a first aid plan, there's a few supplies that you should have. The first one to think about is the numbers that you're going to need for emergencies. You should have in a very accessible place, like the cat carrier and the refrigerator door, the phone numbers for any toxin center, such as the ASPCA, the phone number for your veterinarian, and the phone number for a 24-7 emergency hospital that's close by. If you need a referral for one of those, you should talk to your general practice veterinarian because they often have relationships with emergency hospitals and can point you in the right direction. Once you have your numbers, the other things you wanna have are a nice thick blanket, as well as some bandages, so that in case there's any bleeding, you can cover them. The blanket is helpful because many cats that are injured are actually very distressed and even though they would normally be friendly, they can be quite aggressive. So you want the blanket to be relatively thick, but you also want it to be able to mold easily to the cat. So if you need to scoop the cat up in it, you can tell where the cat is. In addition, when you're moving cats that are injured, remember to try and keep it to a minimum. If there's an injury, you could actually make it worse by moving the cat. So be very gentle and try to place the cat immediately in some type of transport box that's relatively firm, like a cardboard box or a traditional cat carrier. An injured cat sometimes does best if you take the top off a carrier. That way you don't have to shove the cat in through the hole or try to dump him in. That could be really uncomfortable and could increase his injuries. So open the top, put the cat in there wrapped in a blanket. This will help protect you from injury and help keep the cat warm in case he goes into shock. Then call the veterinary clinic you're going to as soon as you can so they know you're on your way. If you find that your cat is having a seizure, if your cat is diabetic, it might be helpful to administer a tiny bit of honey or a little bit of sugar in the mouth. However, most seizures aren't necessarily related to diabetes in cats, and if you try to put your fingers in their mouth, you could actually be bitten rather severely because the cats aren't conscious at that time. So those are some things you need to think about when wanting to put together an emergency plan for your cat.